Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today while I participate in 53rd Day. I saw an advert on Facebook Marketplace and I sent a query to the person and I said, and they said, can I come now? And they said, we're having a garage sale. So I went down there and I'm so glad I did because today I'm going to show you and I got everything I'm showing you today for $18 Australian, which I thought was pretty good. So, start off with a pack of, you know, just cards, number ones. Oh, that's good. And then just flashcards. Some of them are in not very good condition, but still, you know, like, that one's not in, that one's been a bit mangled, but might be to... I think that does that show its age, so it's been alright in the journal. <laughs> I mean, they're fun. They'd be good, good to have on your in, on a on a in the journals. So that one's been, that it really is mangled. That one, I have to give that one a toss. So that was one lot that I got. They had other cards there as well. It was just very tempting not to pick them all up. <laughs> then I got these ones. These ones are. are uh, flashcards colors and shapes so they're just that on one side I don't like that other side so I might have to put something on the back of those and alter them before I use them but they're not a, they're a bit they must have got wet because they're a bit um a bit wavy so they look all right gray must be American spelling because we don't spell gray like that so another gray spelled differently American spelling, are they American? Doesn't say, doesn't say where they're from, you know. But I thought that'd be fun as well. And more cards, more flash cards. These ones are Thomas Tank Engine ones. Um, I nearly picked if they had a whole heap of Thomas Tank Engine uh, card, uh, books for sale as well, but I didn't pick them up. Um, I just think that they're very funny. I might not, might not use them. Um, with the engines on them, but um, I like the cards, I like the colours. Probably could have to probably use the engines, but upside down, but they're nice. They're, they're actually in really good condition, those ones. Yeah, cranky. Yeah, I like those. Um, I've also got more cards. <laughs> There was three lots of these. There was two this type, and there was another one with transport on them. And I, and I I'm denied about picking them all up because they're only asking a dollar for these. And I, and I didn't pick them up in the end because, oh, not two dollars, but because they're just they're, they're very big, but they're wonderful. You could put them as an actual page in a journal. That must be mangled. That was fun. Picture. Oh, uh, uh, that would be hard to work out what that one was. That was a bit mangled as well. What was that? Tissues. Oh, so it is. <laughs> These are household objects, this particular um, set. A bit grubby. I might have to wipe them down with something or other. Yeah, but nice, nice bit of writing and another thing to add to a journal. That's nice. I like that one. Was good clear pictures. So out of date though. That was I mean, we don't have to tell those like that, but still. Some of them, like I said, some of them are very mangled, so I might have to go through them and see which ones are okay to use. So there was, like I said, there was three sets of these. Two this particular variety and one the transport. But I just picked up these because that's enough. There's enough cards to go on with. I picked up a couple of golden. Little golden books. Bananas and pajamas are an Australian um I wouldn't say character characters. They were actually on uh, ABC, which is the public broadcaster here, and um they're uh, people dressed up in banana costumes and they have B one and B two and they have cartoons on them in them and they have teddy the teddy bears in them as well and they have always some sort of um 
lesson in them and they don't speak uh, as such. They sort of, yeah, they don't speak. They don't, they don't. But anyway, that was one. That's a relaxed actually a relatively new one, that one. 1998. And then this pick this one up here, this cars and trucks one. This one looks a bit older. This was about pictures by Richard Scary, 1974. I like the colours on this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Even though it says 1974, the pictures don't look 1960s, 74-ish. They look a lot older than that. But they, I think they're fun. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That would be a great... Um, Journey. Just do really like that a lot. That's, that's really nice. I like that one. So I had those two, and then this is where I want. This is where I went. This is why I went. I've got all of these. These are Cocky's um, circle books, and um, I'm. I picked them all up, but I'm not. I haven't really looked at them, so I might not use that one. But some of them are this. So I thought there'd be another little cute little journal. Ooh, that might be alright. That one. This one's nicer. I like this one. Yeah, I like that one. I'm not showing you all of the pictures because there's a few things to go through here. So the wrong way around, world. I mean, I only. They weren't very much to pick them up for the whole lot. I don't actually remember because because this is what I rang up. This is what I contacted her about, and so she put them aside for me. Oh, that's fun. Where you ran your hair on your hands and you wore hats on your feet, put toothpaste on your hair and shampoo your teeth. <laughs> What's it called? The wrong way round world. Yes, where cows would go um and cats would chase dogs. <laughs> that's funny. Where tracks run on trains and trees grow on leaves. I like that one. That's nice. I saw it in the sea. Don't have any sea things, so something a bit different. Yeah, I like that one. It's a little dark. Colours are a bit dark. I don't have to think about that one. But the stories of oh, great white shark walking through the park. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll stay right away with big white sharks. They're not very old. Um, I just thought there would be something a little bit different for a journal. Just take them apart and maybe put, add a little bit of a spine. And, and so, because again, I'm not, not sure if I use them all, but maybe I could add them to other journals. Um, I don't like the lips on this one. The lips on the people on this one. Hmm. So even if I don't open again, I mean, that's fine. Oh, they're nice. I like this one. Oh, is this the story about the mouse and the... This is Brave Little Mouse. This is the story of the mouse that rescues the, the lion. No. I really like that one. I like the story to go with it. It was well, a cute little mouse. Yeah. Humphrey the Hermit Crab, another sea one. I really, when the, my daughters were younger, they had a uh, ten loopy caterpillars in this particular format. I'm not sure about some of the pictures on these ones. The hairy wombat. <laughs> That's very hairy. That's extremely hairy. I like this one. I like anything Australian ones. That's funny. We don't have hairy wombats like that. We have the hairy nose wombat, which is the animal well, uh, emblem for South Australia. And I don't think it has really hairy. There's a wombat there. The magical door mop. I like the pictures on that one too. I like, I like bright, cheerful or cute pictures in children's books. So I'm going to go through these again and work out which ones I'm going to use and which ones I'm not. Oh, the people's faces in this one are a bit... No. I like the other pictures though. That's lovely. That's lovely. Not that one. Oh, 
Oh god, I've just realised we probably haven't seen any of these. Sorry. Well, there's another there's lots of Australian animals in that one as well, so that's good. So they didn't cost me very much, so it doesn't matter if I donate them some of them again. I picked up this one. Harry McClary from Donald's and Donald's and Dairy. I can just love this story of Harry McClary. I'm gonna turn this one into a journal, definitely. It's just it's a fun story and you know, all the, all the dogs have different names, like Schnitzel von Crumb, Crumb with a very low tum, Bits of Maloney or Skinny and Bony, Muffin and Maclay like a bundle of hay, Bottomly Pots covered in spots, Hercules Morse as big as a horse. <laughs> so all of the um, animals have got names, that's funny. Oh yeah, anyway, so I've got that one. And I picked up a few random cards, I just thought that they were particularly retro looking, that one. I like this one because of Australian sort of landscape. This one's cute with the bunnies on it. Again, I picked this one up because I just like the bird and the image. And same for this one as well. I thought they were lovely. And got this as well. The woman said she found this hard to part with. I can understand why because it's got a cute cover. It's got a two, two, two levels. Can you see? This one's got the note. Paper in it, and this one's got. I can actually take these are little note cards. They use their paper, and actually not note cards, they're paper ones, but still they're not little little notes. I thought they were cute. I don't really need any more, but I just thought these were. Oh, it's not going to go back in again. Oh, they've got different pictures. Oh, I see. Oh, they're lovely. And these are envelopes. I did see, I wanted to know what these were. And I had a bit of trouble getting them out. I was still having trouble getting them out. Here's my knife. These are just my envelopes. Oh no, they're not envelopes. It's just empty. It's not envelopes. Anyway, I could use the box for something. I'm sure I could use the box for something. Not a lot in there, but still. That's all right, so. Got the bonus box, which I thought was really cute. These are clean, though. And this is in bad condition, and I think that they're only asking 50 cents, and these these definitely need cleaning. But I just thought they're actually not very thick, for like unlike all the other ones I picked up, because I ended up giving donating them back half the other ones. But these are not very thick, so they wouldn't take up much room in a journal. I just thought they were fun. To add in a journal, but they definitely need cleaning. I'll put even more out of it. There's a few bit of cleaning things to be to be done here. Anyway, a variety of pictures. Some of them are <laughs> cap, the butterfly. There, it's a match game, but still, I mean, I probably wouldn't use the cat, but oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll pop one in. They're just like I said, they're not very thick, so I reckon they would be good to add to this as a, like an in, um, what do you call it, an ephemera folder or something or other. It's only cost me fifty cents, so it's not a lot really. I'm gonna end up with topping all these over in a bit. And I've already got one of these, but I know how hard they are to come by, so I picked this up as well. Um, I've used this, I've used a lot of this in my pre, in my journals um, because it's got. I like these flip out ones, and I've I used this in my last journal. They actually make a great uh, page in the journal, the whole thing, and then you can fold it up and create a pocket, which I've done with lots of these. Um, I've used up nearly all. I've used up all of these in my last one, and they've got all these little cards. Which because now I've got this new one, now I'm going to put the old. The, I've taken all the cards out, and I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop because I don't need all of them. That's been a bit greedy, but they make great um, things to put in pockets. They are shiny, yes, I know, but they're colourful and they're interesting, and I just I love them. So that's why I picked that up because I, they're very hard to find, those ones. And then they had so many books to go through. Like I picked up another fairy tale one and I had it to one side. And then I saw this and I thought, oh, I can't look at this one. And I like this one better. So I wasn't going to get two because we've got enough fairy tale ones. But I thought the pictures in here 
were really lovely. Um, this is um, copyright 1991, 1995. This is the latest one. The, the pictures are just really gorgeous. Really lovely. And the, and the text is nice and big. It's not overly. Beauty and the Beast. I just thought that's really lovely. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got Rumpel Stripper Skin. Again, I just thought the pictures were lovely. A bit more muted than the other ones. The Little Match Girl. That's a sad story, The Little Match Girl. That's a lovely picture. That's a lovely picture too. Oh, I like that as well. Oh, that's, just, that's such a sad story about the little match girl. I'm not going to tell you the story. You have to read it for yourself. Three little pigs. Let's see, they're cute. Oh, I'm just realised you probably can't see because we've got all these things creating a shadow and I didn't put my light on. <laughs> I really hope you can see this. If not, I'm about to do it again. The Red Riding Hood. The pictures are really lovely, I think. And they've got this lovely board around that you can... I would have to cut off though to fit in a journal if you wanted to use the Jack and the Beanstalk. That's nice and colourful too. I think the giant's not very scary looking. That's good because sometimes some of these nursery rooms have scary pictures. Um, what's this one? The Sleeping Beauty. Ah, oh, yes. That's good. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Taylor Peter Rabbit. A little mixture of stories. Lovely pictures. And what else? Still got Peter, Taylor Peter Rabbit. That's good. Steadfast Tin Soldier by Hans Christian Andersen. I don't really know this story very well. I think this is what the. Um, Led to the story of the Nutcracker Squid. I don't know really because it's not. A st I think I have read it once when I was a, a girl, but it's not when I've read for a very long time. No, it's something you know. Oh, yes, that's good. I love that story too. Just lovely pictures in there. Really lovely. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful too. That's cute. Mother Goose's nurse rums, they've got lots of nurse rums there. But again, the illustrations are fun, interesting. Missing pages here, what's this one? Puss in Boots. That's a good story, I reckon. Puss in Boots. <laughs> what else? The Hare and the Tortoise. Aesop's Fables, that's a glass picture, very bright and cheerful. Very short stories. The normal ones they tend to share in books, the ugly duckling. That's nice. Oh look. Oh, they, these are gorgeous pictures. Really lovely pictures. I'm so glad I picked this one up because I didn't really look at it all. It's a quick had a quick look. Because I knew there's lots of other things to look at. So anyway, I hope you like the things that I found at this Garage so the woman said to me it was worthwhile you coming and I said yes definitely and um, I, I have to sort of think about what else I'm going to buy because I'm just running out of room so thank you very much for joining me today and um, we'll see you next time thank you bye bye